Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Twitter bootstrap project inside your Visual Studio IDE. So let's get started. First of all what we need to do is we need to go to file here and we need to create a new website project. So create a new website project and name it anything. Okay. And we want to create an empty website. We don't want to use any ASP.NET or any other uh, templates or any other thing. We want to do uh, an empty website. So choose this option and click OK. And this is going to create an empty website project for you. Now in order to add Bootstrap in this project, what you need to do is you need to go to Tools here and in the Tools go to nugget package manager and in here click manage nugget package for solution okay so click this option and it's going to open this kind of interface and what we want here is just search for in this uh, search box search for less and we, you when you search for uh, this less the first option most probably will be from twitter.bootstrap.less. So select this option and then on the right hand side, click this button install. So click install and it's going to install this Twitter bootstrap inside your project. Click OK. And keep on watching here in the output and when it says finish, then bootstrap files are installed in your project so at that time you can close uh, this tab here and now you can see bootstraps.js and uh, jquery uh, installation is there and in here in the content folder you have all the bootstrap related less files okay so now uh, once our bootstrap environment is set up we want to create a HTML file, right? So right click on your website or project. So right click on your project and add a new HTML file. So add new item and in here choose HTML page and give the name to your HTML page. For example, default.html and add it to your project. And this is the blank uh, HTML page which is created for you by Visual Studio and which is added to your project here, right? So now we have all the bootstrap related JavaScript and CSS files, jQuery files and your index.html. So now we can add first of all these JavaScript files to your HTML uh, page. The easier way is just go to this script folder and in here go to this uh, bootstrap.js and then choose this uh, bootstrap.min.js from here. Open your uh, default HTML and drag and drop this bootstrap.min.js to your body of your HTML page. Okay. And it will be added automatically as a script like this. Okay. Same we will do for uh, this javascript min.js. So just click your default.html, drag and drop this jQuery 1.9.0 in my case dot min.js, drag and drop here and it will add to your body. Now in order to add the bootstrap.css file which will be here in contents so go to uh, this folder called content and then go to the folder called bootstrap. And now you will see all the files are less files. And in order to make them a CSS file, we need to compile them. And to compile uh, them, we have a tool which we can add from our tools. So go to tools once again and in here click this time extensions and updates and in here click 
this option called online so we want to install online tools so just click online and make sure this at the top is sorted by most popular okay and what we need to do is we need to install first of all web essential 2015 so to install this i have already installed this this green button shows uh, that uh, it's already installed but if it's not installed in your case what you need to do is for example i want to install uh, this cloud explorer for windows uh, visual studio uh, when i select this i will see this option download so download uh, this uh, file so just click this download and then you will see the option called install so just click the install button and then web essentials will be installed right you may need to uh, restart the visual studio in order to uh, you know configure all the settings but everything will be okay and when you see this green uh, tick mark here then it will uh, be installed okay same we want to do with uh, this web compiler so just go down a little and here you will be able to see web compiler option here okay so search for web compiler and do the same download it and install it right and restart visual studio if required so for example i want to download this just click this download button and then it will show you the install button and install it so we need to install web compiler and this option web essentials okay so once you see green button on both or green tick mark on both you are ready to go now once it's done you will be able to see when you uh, select your bootstrap dot less file inside your bootstrap folder here so just click on uh, bootstrap dot less and right click on it and then you will see this uh, option called compile file okay so just click compile file and it will be compiled and you will be able to see this small uh, extension here and inside this you will be able to see that our bootstrap.less file is compiled and now it has generated for us bootstrap.min.css this file right so now we can add this to our head of our default.html file so just select this uh, bootstrap.min.css and in your default folder drag and drop in the head right and it will add this uh, bootstrap.min.css file here so now we have added all the scripts and link to our html file now we are ready to go so for example i want to add a h1 tag i can do it simply and i can say hello world okay and to compile it just save it first and you just need to uh, click this uh, run button from here and it will take your default browser in my case it's firefox but it will take your default browser and it will open this page in your default browser okay so just run it and now you can see it's open in our default browser hello world okay so now you are ready to develop your bootstrap project inside visual studio so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now